Okay, here's your quick tip. This one is about charting your palette. It's important to have an organized palette. It's important to have a selection of colors that are unique to you. I have a palette, my palette, organized according to the prism. It's uh, sort of a, a version of what one knows as the prismatic palette. That means that it's organized according to the color wheel. Uh, mine is really kind of a backwards version of the color wheel, going from green uh, through, uh, mine goes from green, blue, purple, reds, uh, to, the, uh, to the oranges, yellows, and back to white, and then uh, black when I need it there. So, um, it's a good idea to know what each color, uh, know the character of each color that comes straight, as it comes straight out of your tube. Uh, know its hue, know its value, know its intensity, know its, know its temperature. And to be able to refer in your mind to that color when you are using it, rather than thinking of a color uh, according to its name. For example, so many people paint according to brand name, like um, people will reach for ultramarine blue as ultramarine blue. Well, that's fine, but to be able to identify ultramarine blue, the characteristics of ultramarine blue, is more important than knowing the name of ultramarine blue. So, if you develop a chart like this, you only have to do it one time, and, uh, unless you change your palette around, then you need to do it again. But if you develop a chart like this, uh, as a, a reference, this shows you the potential of your palette. Um, so I have here um, the the chart of the colors on this side in their value range and then here uh, their hue, the value, the intensity, and the temperature and then the brand name of the color itself. This is my teaching palette. It's also my portable palette. It's a different palette than the one I use in my studio for my regular paintings so I have a different chart for it. All right, here, how do you go about charting? Here we go. You, <clears throat> it's a good idea to begin with a little uh, slip of paper here, or it doesn't matter what it is. It's something that you can put on, uh, something that you can paint on, actually. Um, you take a color directly out of the tube without any changes whatsoever and <clears throat> um, put a bit of it on the tip of your uh, piece of paper here, and then find its value. Now, you would find its value according to the value scale. So, I'm seeing here that its value is about right in here. About This one's valued by uh, value 8. This is this particular color. Uh, well, we'll talk about that in a moment. So, that means in the range, uh, in the range I have here, the value would start right here in this row. The, 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 as it comes directly out of the tube. Its native value as it comes directly out of the tube would go right there. Then I want to, um, to, to check out how much lighter it can get. What is its value range from where its darkness lives to its lightest light. So I would begin then to add a little white into the brush, pull it in here, to slightly lighten so I get one degree value change <coughs> in this row right here and then I will do the same thing one degree value change in this row right here and did I get yes and then um, maybe one or two more degrees value change I want the last one to be about the light, light, lightest value that color will go and, and still be readable so I might do another degree of value change there. For that last one, it's probably a good idea to, to uh, wipe the, the existing color out of the brush because there's so much dark still in there. And then go right up in here in this white where uh, the, the color is already mixed, and that would be that one right there. So now I've got a full range of this color. So what goes right here? What goes right here is the color's hue. And how am I going to know the color's hue? Well, I can know the color's hue by identifying uh, how it would fall on the color wheel. So, uh, if you if you use an intensity wheel, you can you can really uh, identify that pretty closely. So, with this intensity wheel, I can see that this color is falls about right here. So that color is really a red orange. 
and so I would put red orange here. Now, <clears throat> if the color ended up being a little bit more red, then I would put an arrow by the red to tell me it's a little bit more red than orange. What is its value as it comes out of the tube? Dark goes right here. What is its intensity as it comes out of the tube? Uh, it would be mid to low. Uh, and it's actually a low intensity I found right on the intensity scale. So I would put low right here. What is the temperature of the color? Warm right here. And what is the name of the color? The name of the color is the tube name. Uh, it's Holbein Terra Rosa. So, I recommend doing that. I think you find it very helpful. There's your quick tip.